Today, we're gonna learn how to animate your images and PNG in CapCut PC. Just like all the pro YouTubers you know. Let's get started. In this very tutorial, we're gonna use this three style to animate our images, but with this, you'll be able to understand the basics when it comes to animating images and PNG. So first of all, we drag our paper texture in our timeline. Let's make it big. And with this, you can get it on pixels.com. It's absolutely free. And most of the YouTubers use it as their background. So with this, I'll just click on that and then go to the right side, click on adjustment scroll down on temperature we we'll take it to the warm side i like the warm vibe but you can leave it at white if you prefer that so let's go to somewhere 45. go to the left side drag your first image in the timeline make it the same length as the paper texture now click on the image change the scale to 80 percent now go to where you want the animations to start so with this we'll take our playhead to this side and make sure you click on the image then go to the right side, make a keyframe on position and rotate. Now go 10 to 12 frames forward and make another keyframe on position and rotate. Now go three to four frames forward, make another keyframe on rotate and position. And now go another three to four frames forward, make another keyframe on position and rotate. So now we have four keyframes on our image. Now take your playhead to the very first keyframe that we created. Make sure you have the blue showing. That will show that you are on the first keyframe. And over there, we'll just drag the image downwards. And with this animation, we want it to come from the bottom of the screen. Now go to the second keyframe, make sure the blue is showing. That will show that you are on the keyframe. And this is the second when you look on the timeline. We'll drag it up a little bit. Then you go to the third keyframe, make sure you select the image. And as you can see, it's not showing that we've selected it, that keyframe. So we use this to move to that keyframe. And that's the third one on our timeline. Let me stretch it so you can see it. And over there, we we'll just drag it downwards a little bit. And with the last keyframe, we we'll just leave it just the way it is. So when you look carefully, it comes in, it goes up, and then it comes down and then it goes to the normal position. So it's gonna give you that bouncing vibe to your image and that makes your animation look so cool. I'll play and show you guys how it looks like. So it comes in, it bounce, and then it goes to the normal position. Now we need to make the animation come in smooth. And with this, right click on that and select show keyframe animation. Then click on the Y and click on this very drop down arrow to bring the graphs out. Then click on the second keyframe, that is our second keyframe, and change the curves to auto curve. And click on the first keyframe that we created and change it to auto curve. Now use these handles and drag it upwards. Then click on the second keyframe and use the handles and stretch it upwards. So with this, you're gonna play around it till you feel like it looks kind of cool or clean to your eyes. Now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like. So we can still work around it. Let's drag this a little bit down and see. I feel like the third keyframe, we can work around it. So with this, just play around all the keyframes till you really get the vibe. Let me play and show you guys. Now this looks pretty cool. So if you want the animation to come in fast, you will just move the keyframes closer to each other. And if you want it to slow down, you will just move them away from each other. Now right click on the image and click on hide keyframe animation. And when you look at the YouTubers, when the image comes in, it has this floating vibe and this is how to create that in CapCut PC. Click on the image, take the playhead to the last keyframe that we created. So let's use this arrow to move to exactly that keyframe. Now go 10 to 15 frames forward and move the image slightly to the left and go another 10 to 15 frames forward. And this time around, we'll move it slightly to the right side. Now go another 10 to 15 frames forward and do the same thing probably this time around downwards. And also you can just click on the keyframe and hold command. So I'm gonna select all these ones. Then command C to copy that keyframe and go 10 to 15 frames forward. And then command V to paste the keyframe. And as you can see, we copied these four keyframes and we paste on this side. So I'll repeat the same steps to the end of the clip. So now we have something like this. It comes in and then it floats in the air. And if you want the floating to go fast, then you can easily move the keyframes closer to each other and it's gonna go fast. But if you want it to be really slow, then you just move them away from each other. And now there's one thing missing from our animation. 
that adding motion blur it looks kind of harsh now when you look closely to it and there's one trick to get a motion blur in CapCut PC click on the image command or control C then command V or control V to paste it on top of it then go to the left side of the software click on effect then click on lens scroll down and click on motion blur drag it and drop it on the top image that we have so now as you can see it has this motion blur to it when you look on the screen so with this we just take the horizontal down and also the strength down so we feel like it looks okay so something like this looks pretty cool and now we need to animate the blur and this one trick to do it make sure you click on the top video and take your playhead to the first keyframe we created then scroll down and make a keyframe on opacity then go to the second keyframe we created and make another keyframe on opacity and this time around just drag the opacity down to zero so now we have something like this the blur comes in and then it goes back to zero so you can see the blur so from here you can just make a compound clip of these two images right click that create compound clip and now how to bring our second image in with this go to your media and we're going to use this second image drag it and drop it on this side and if you want to know how to cut out i use photoshop to cut out my images but i'll drop one free one down below a guy did a good tutorial on that you can check on that on how to get free cut out for your images so with this we we'll drag it to the end of the clip and with that image selected go to the right side of the software select layer one so it will go below this very image reduce the size of it scroll up and with the scale just turn it to somewhere 32 till it disappear on the screen now click on the top compound clip make a keyframe on position and go 10 frames forward make another keyframe on position and on the second keyframe that we just created just drag it to the left side and now we're going to follow the same two keyframes and we'll do the same thing with the down video i'll show you guys how to do that take our playhead to the first keyframe on this side and make sure you click on the second image make a keyframe on position and scale then go 10 frames forward since the top one was also 10 frames forward and make another keyframe on position and scale and this time around we'll just increase the scale of it and move it to the right side so this comes in and then it goes to the other side and now if you want to have the floating vibe to the second image you can repeat what we did earlier on to get that floating vibe but for the sake of not making this tutorial so long i'm going to fast forward that so now we have something like this this comes in and then it goes to the left side now we need to bring our arrow in so with this we're going to select this arrow i've already favorited so it's going to appear at the top here that's one way to add your favorite to the top so you don't scroll down searching for it but if you want it you can just scroll down and it's going to be somewhere down below so with this i'll just drag it and drop it in the timeline make it the same length as this now let's reduce the size of it go to somewhere 40 percent and drag it to somewhere like this now make sure you click on the arrow go to the right side of the software click on animation and we're going to choose spring it looks really cool with this and now increase the duration of it to somewhere two to three seconds so i'll go with 2.6 now make a compound clip of it create compound clip and we need to do some animation on the arrow too click on this very image so you can see exactly where the animation starts from and then we'll click on our arrow take the playhead to that side then go to the right side of the software click on video and with scale just take it down to zero drop a keyframe on scale then go 10 frames forward since the rest of them were 10 frames and make another keyframe on scale and this time around increase it to somewhere 70 to 75 so now i'll show you guys what we have so far and now sound effect without sound effect this is gonna look so boring when it comes in i'm gonna use a pop sound for that you can go to audio click on sound effect and then search for pop it's gonna bring you a lot of pop sound let's play and see how it looks like so i'm gonna use this cheek pop for this just drag and drop it in the timeline and make sure you time it when it comes in so it will match with the animation so i'll play and show you guys it sounds kind of low so i'm going to click on the audio go to the right side and increase the volume a little bit and now play and see and now we need to drop a second sound at this very side and with that i'm going to use a whoosh sound so with that just type in whoosh then we scroll down and then you play and see how all of them sounds like 
think I'm gonna use remembering wash. It sounds kind of cool. So I'll just drag it and drop it down. And just like we did earlier on, make sure you place it at where the animation happens. So somewhere here is where the animation happens. I'll play and see how it sounds like. So now I'll play all and see how it sounds like. Now the second method, we'll drag our screenshot that I took on CapCut, drag it in the timeline, and then we'll drag PNG file on top of it. So we want this screenshot to go below the iPad. Then click on the screenshot that we took with the scale, change it down. We just want to fix it in the screen of the iPad. And now with the uniform scale, turn it off so I can change the width and the height of it. I think I'm gonna go with the height, stretch it to fit the iPad. Then select all of them, right click and create a compound clip. And with the compound clip created, click on that and reduce the size of it. Now we're gonna work on the animation on this. Go to the first frame, make sure you clip on the compound clip and go to the right side of the software, make a keyframe on scale and position. Then go 10 frames forward and make another keyframe on position and skill. Now use this arrow to go to the first keyframe we created and on that side change the size to somewhere 20 to 30 percent and drag it to the right side. So now I'll play and show you guys what we have. It comes in and it expands or it increases with the size. So we go to somewhere to this side, take your playhead there, we want to do the out animation. So you go to the right side, make a keyframe on skill and position. Then go to 10 to 12 frames forward. Make another keyframe on position and scale. And this time around, we change the scale to somewhere 20 to 30 percent and then move it to the left side till it disappear on the screen. Now I'll play and show you guys. It comes in, increase with the size and then it goes out reducing in size. Now click on that, command or control C to copy then command or control V to paste on top of it. And this one trick that we're gonna use with this animation. Make sure you click on the down one and take your playhead to where we have the third keyframe. That's where we're gonna bring in the second image. So take it there and then drag this one to that very side. And since we have the first keyframe on this side, it's gonna come in the same as it. Play and show you guys how it looks. So it comes in. And then once it's going, this one will come in. So now you can repeat this and get as many as you want, depending on the animation you're going for. Now the third method, I have my two images already in my timeline. So this is an image that I cut out in Photoshop. So I'll just drag it and drop it on top of this. Let me stretch this. Then click on the down screenshot that we have. Go to effect, click on lens, scroll down and choose blur, drag and drop it on that very screenshot. I just want that look, but you can drag any effect onto it. So now we're gonna animate all of them to come in. So we'll start with the top one, click on that, go to animation, and then we're gonna select slide up. Let's increase it a bit. And then I'll do the same thing with the down image. Click on that, go to animation, this time we're gonna select slide down since the other one is coming from the bottom of the screen. So select slide down and I'll play and show you guys. And once again, you can add some sound effect to it. Let's go to audio and select one of the whole sound and drop it down below and play and see how it sounds like. No cool at all, let's delete that and choose another one. Yeah, this sounds really cool. So we drag that and drop it down below and play and see how it sounds like. This was longer than I thought it would be. This next video will show you how to properly add titles in CapCut PC. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.